Alert, new scam affecting iPhone and iPad users Here's how thieves are stealing your credit card info, this is how to prevent it. A new phishing scam which is affecting Apple devices has been discovered this week. This latest scam attempts to prey on unsuspecting vulnerable users by displaying information contained in an official looking system level alert from Apple. This latest attempt at deceiving iPhone, iPad and Mac owners has so far reared its ugly head on devices located in both the United Kingdom and the United States. The scam prompts users to call a toll-free number in order to troubleshoot and fix the fabricated device issue. This is just the latest attempt at extorting money from users, but interestingly enough it's not one of the most sophisticated ones that have been seen over the years. But sadly since it does look very genuine it has been enough to make many less savvy users react and give out their information. There are some online rumors that say clearing your history could rid your phone from this malicious pop-up. But sadly this would only work if the dangerous app that prompted these pop-ups has already been uninstalled on your device. The best advice here is to just ask Apple directly if you have any doubts whatsoever about anything popping up on your iOS or Mac device. HelpNet Security Reports The History of Hacking Nowadays, different people have different views on the hacking scene. Oftentimes people of similar skill level have similar opinions. There is no official definition of a hacker, rather a vague idea amongst the masses. In addition, the media loves to add false information to draw audiences' attention across the nation, for the pure sake of money. It all began in the 1960s at MIT origin of the term hacker, where extremely skilled individuals practiced hardcore programming in Fortran and other older languages. Some may ignorantly dub them nerds or geeks but these individuals were, by far, the most intelligent, individual, and intellectually advanced people who happen to be the pioneers and forefathers of the talented individuals that are today the true hackers. The true hackers amongst our societies have an unquenchable thirst for knowledge. Boredom is never an object of challenge for hackers. They have an almost anomalous ability to absorb, retain, and exert vast amounts of knowledge with regard to intricate details. In 1969, Bell Labs employee Ken Thompson invented Unix and permanently changed the future of the computer industry. Then in the very early 1970s, Dennis Ritchie invented the computer programming language C which was specifically invented to be used with Unix. Programmers ceased to use Assembler, while developing an appreciation for the portability of C. Hackers used to be viewed as people who sat locked in a room all day programming non-stop, hours on end. No one seemed to mind hackers back in the 1960s when this was the most widely accepted reputation. In fact, most people had no idea what hacking was. The term hacker was accepted as a positive label slapped onto computer gurus who could push computer systems beyond the defined limits. Hackers emerged out of the artificial intelligence labs at MIT in the 1960s. A network known as ARPANET was founded by the Department of Defense as a means to link government offices. In time, ARPANET evolved into what is today known as the Internet. In the 1970s, Captain Crunch devised a way to make free long-distance calls and groups of phone hackers, later dubbed Freakers emerged. Throughout the 1970s and halfway into the 1980s, Xerox's Palo Alto Research Center, PARC, 